Hey, Craig, this is another one for you. Um, so uh, we had talked about the derelict versions of armored golems and things of that nature. And uh, I don't see any uh, graphics for that here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some dummy graphics and make a uh, uh, armored golem derelict stand-in for now. And um, I'll show you what you would do uh, differently if you actually had a texture. I'm assuming that if you have a derelict version, it's probably only the actual diffuse texture that di uh, differs. If it's more than that, then you would just go through all the normal baking. Um, as it stands, um, what we've got here, I'm going to hit Control D on the Armored Golem. This will make a copy of it. Armored Golem 1, still in the goodie box. We'll call it Armored Golem Derelict. Um, and I'm going to make a copy of your material. Control D again. Armored Golem Mat. So we'll call this. Um, oh, so it sorts right. Derelict. Mat Derelict. Okay. So now. Oh, uh, actually, before I drag that in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Um, with the prefab here selected, I'm dragging the new material into there. So now. When I drag this into the scene, this looks exactly how you set it up. So this is essentially identical to the non-derelict form at the moment. Now, that's obviously no good. So what we want to do, I'm assuming let's have no emission whatsoever. So I'm just going to switch this to combined. Um, this is the derelict version, of course. So not having the lights on makes sense to me. Um, let's uh bring up the color picker and i'll just darken the diffuse in general um we will turn off the specular highlights and reflection no we need reflections turn off the specular highlights though so it's not as shiny there we'll rough it up uh, it's not rough enough to make any difference we'll make the normal map crazy strong let's see down the north, uh, yeah, the, the roughness is not um, enough to do much. So, um, we'll down this even more. And actually make it a little like reddish brown. Okay. So this is actually not bad. We may not even need blue to do something special for these because um, we need them to just kind of look bombed out. So, um, okay, so now we have a derelict here. Um, so, how do we actually use it now? Um, if you go um, into the KDL ships. Golems. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have this set up the armored golem. So it's you put this by the systems, so it's underneath the entity um, tag there. So it's side specific visual type natural object, meaning nobody owns it. And then it's going to be the same path as before, except this time I named it um, derelict. At the end, so uh, armored golem derelict. Control U to make it lowercase. And so now, um, when it's derelict, it'll look this way. When it's owned by anybody else, it'll look that way. So um, really, all that we've done is we've made a copy of the prefab, and then we've made the material. Um, I made made a copy of the material, made it not emissive and then just made it very very dull and very very rough as much as we could if the roughness the base roughness had been higher then we could have made the roughness higher without downing the uh, metallicness but this one's not a it's a pretty smooth um shell on this one so that option wasn't available to us with it uh with the artillery golem or something we might have that option i don't know but 
same exact process for the other golems. Um, and um, when you're doing the controllers, um, it's a similar sort of a thing there. Alrighty, thanks.